Welcome boys and girls to the status report highlight for the 27th of March 2018. It's going to be a quick one today as the team just come back from GDC 2018. Today we're just going to quickly go over what to expect with the 0.63 public stress tests, as well as some DayZ on Xbox information, and a sneak peek at some new sounds coming to DayZ 0.63. So let's kick things off as always with lead producer Eugen. There's a lot of commotion in the office as we get near our first 0.63 public stress test, which I will talk about more today and share details of why and how we're going to approach this step, and what should be the outcome for both you, the players, and us, the developers. Besides the obvious focus to get things into public hands for testing, we are dealing with issues related to weapon collisions with environment and zombies, while also working on climbing and jumping to make traversing through the environment a much better experience. There is a lot to cover in the coming weeks, and we are looking at the missing pieces, as well as pushing for the level of polish we want to achieve before we finally move 0.63 to the experimental branch of DayZ on Steam. As we've mentioned during our 0.63 dev livestream, the initial releases of 0.63 will take the form of time-limited, focused stress tests. To differentiate these stress tests from the more traditional experimental testing phase, we'll create a completely new stress test branch of DayZ on Steam, which any one of you will be able to switch to and play on test servers provided by us. But once 0.63 gets ready and releases on experimental branch, this option will be gone. But we expect to have more than one of these stress tests happening in the next couple of weeks so you might get a chance to hop in early and test the game in a limited capacity. Our main goal with the stress tests is to test server load, and to see the number of players we can handle on one server. These stress tests can both happen very often, or there might be some delay between them. We will be auto-collecting logs and server crashes for further analysis, as well as profiling the server performance. A big chunk of the work will go into making sure we get lots of data to sort through and evaluate. We will announce the time of each stress test on our social media channels, so that you can prepare at least a little bit ahead of time. Besides the timeline of availability, we will try and provide you with a list of things that we have assigned to the highest priority for getting feedback on. So of course guys, don't forget to pop your feedback in on the feedback tracker, as much and as accurately as possible, of any issues you find. Videos are one of the best mediums to understand what's going on, so if you have the chance and you've recorded an issue you've spotted, don't forget you can also report those videos to the feedback tracker as well, and the DAISY forums. Now let's talk a little bit about what we can expect with spawning around Chernerus. You will be spawning in a much more concentrated manner on selected locations in Chernerus, already equipped with the basic gear that we have ready for testing. Many things in those builds will still be either disabled completely or not spawning. On the other hand, we will try and increase the player numbers per server to see how far we can go. It's going to be a bit of a bloodbath, that's for sure. So in summary from what Eugen said there, probably don't expect to have loads of loot on the stress tests as they are that, a stress test. The team want to see how far the servers can go with the player count and tweak and make changes where needed, I guess with loot. So there's not gonna be a, a massive abundance of loot there, it's gonna be under control for the stress test purposes and they can fix any blockers from then onwards for the experimental release. It's still gonna be good to try out 6.3 though. But remember, we're only weeks away from 6.3, not months. The 6.3 dev stream was already two weeks ago, so we just might have our hands on 0.63 rather soon. Next up, we have a few words and an audio tease from sound designer Philip. Over the course of the last couple of weeks, we have worked on several smaller tasks and features such as swimming, footsteps in water, ladder climbing, user actions and fireplace sounds. We've also finished the work on the interior controller for weapons and character sound. Now we can have different tales for indoor shooting, reloading magazines or footsteps, indoor ambient sounds are still in progress. For the next few weeks, we will be focusing on melee fight sounds. We will redesign sounds for attack animations and also make many new melee hit sounds. Now let's take a sneaky little listen to new audio coming to 0.63. And of course, never forget to check out the community spotlight below for all your community content creations. If you missed the DayZ Development 0.63 stream, don't forget to check that out as well. It's all linked in that community spotlight section. There's also dates and times for PAX East. I won't be attending sadly, but I hear there may be an Xbox build for people to try out. So maybe sneak on over. I would also just like to quickly clarify a console concern regarding DayZ. That's if anybody that's interested in this is still watching by this time in the video. Are you developing DayZ for only Xbox One X? No, we'll be releasing on all Xbox One consoles and on PlayStation 4 as well. There you go. 
so stop worrying. It's not just Xbox One X, you're getting it on the One S, the One, and the PlayStation 4 as well. And it will be coming to Xbox One Game Preview this year. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the status report highlight for the 27th of March 2018 in all its glory. Hope you enjoyed this bit of information on DayZ. Let me know in the comments section below, are you going to switch to DayZ on Xbox or PS4? Or we'll keep on with the PC when 0.63 and onwards are in our hands. Are you going to PAX East? Go and say hi to the devs from me, because I can't go. Remember to leave a like, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you peeps next time.